Now have a look at this because this is interesting. When I decided to go ahead and reintroduce plants into this 29 gallon tall aquascape, some of the plants that I decided to use came from a tank where they were somewhat infested with diatome algae and to rid them of the diatome algae I sprayed them down with hydrogen peroxide and let them sit briefly before rinsing them and adding them to the scape. The plants that I sprayed with hydrogen peroxide were guppy grass and rotala rundifolia which I added on the left and you can see there is much less guppy grass on the left than on the right. Now, I've already replaced some of the guppy grass but that part of the scape is in need of some refilling. Behind the rock on the right you can see the remnants of a rotala rundifolia that didn't make it. So what I'd like to do is remove guppy grass and rotala rundifolia from my tanks which contain scuds that largely take care of the algae on the plants. Here's a look at my 10 gallon aquascape with only scuds as fauna. As you can see they largely keep the plants free of algae and there's lots of rotala in this tank for me to move to the 29 gallon tall tank. Here's a look at my 5.5 gallon scud culture. It also has some rotala and some guppy grass to add to the 29 gallon tall tank. A good way to get rid of the excess nutrient in the water column is to add floating plants. And today I acquired some Salvinium minima on the left and incidentally with the purchase of some swordtails I believe it's called giant duckweed. It's larger than regular duckweed, so it's easy to get rid of it if you decide you don't want it in the tank. So I thought I'd add these to my 29 gallon tank in hopes that not only will they cut back on the light in the tank, but also get rid of the nitrates in the water column and hopefully starve that algae of nutrient. I put some of the giant duckweed and salvinia minima in my Daphnia cultures where the low flow caused by the air line shouldn't give them much difficulty at all but to add them to the 29 gallon tank it may be necessary to use a corral at least initially until they take off so I fashioned one out of an airline to keep the plants from being splashed and tossed about by the hang on the back filter. Here's a look at the salvinia in the corral. I decided to hold off on the giant duckweed for now. But hopefully this salvinia will take off and reduce the nutrient in the water column. So far that is staying in place. The corral drifts over toward the hang on back filter, but it doesn't lose any plants. And then it drifts back to the left side of the tank. If this doesn't work out, I can add a heater bracket with a suction cup to hold it on one side of the tank. But I don't want to do that because it looks unsightly. For now, this is doing just fine.
I think the left side of the tank looks much better now with more plants. Hopefully the addition of floating plants will help me keep the algae down in this scape.